again, my fellow musicians, aspiring musicians, fellow guitarists, aspiring guitarists. Again, my name is Lance Oscar Carr from Victoria, BC, Canada. I want to share with you the backing track to go with this Lava Guitar game uh, that I've founded and trademarked here. Um, I'm sharing this for educational purposes and watch out for the um, full course and all the all the different content you can get to cover all the strings, all the notes. Um, so this first one is going to be based on the E minor chord. We can think of pretty much any key, but thinking from the minor, it's much easier to approach all these cool scale or sounded in, uh, variations. So the first chord I'm going to play is this E minor chord, and it has three letters in it, blue letters. They would be E's, G's, or B's. So you can find those letters on your fretboard on that small string, but you can also find it in this chord that I'm going to play. I'm not going to show you right now, but that'll be in future material, but just understand that those are the letters I'm playing when I strum this chord, and that's why you match really well if you're going to noodle or improvise and play the EGB letters in blue. So here we go. We're going to do our first jam, and you're playing what's called the EG blue, EGB blue, like totally in smooth sounds just like this. I'm going to count to four and you just join and jam. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing an E minor chord. doesn't make it super exciting. Well, that's okay. Now we know our in color, the blues. So you play E, G, and B. So E notes, G notes, and B notes. And they're going to sound great anytime you hear someone in your band playing the E minor chord. We could call that the E minor triad, the E minor arpeggio. They're just, to me, they're blue notes that are in the chord in E minor. That's all you really need to know. Let's try it one more time. So you play the E, G, and blue, no blue notes any way you want. You can mix them and match them, but try not to play any other notes because those are going to be considered lava, fiery notes that we want to avoid. That was fire. I hit the lava. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Blue. Blue. All right, this is an updated scale, guys, gals, whoever you are. This is called the melodic minor. It's a melodic mi jazz minor scale. It is so cool. It is one of the kind of stranger scales maybe subjective term but we're gonna hit all these notes so then the change on this one we've got the blue the green now on fret nine we're gonna use an orange wow that's strange hey? it's an orange spice it's pretty spicy it's a little bit more spicy in my opinion when you go to the red that's fret 11 Sounds mystery, like a spy, spy movie or a spy jazzy um, mystery. Very spicy when you hit that orange, but play it and get used to what a, that tense note sounds like. And if you want to let that tension go, go back to a blue. That's the most in. So again, most in are the blues green is a little less in and then the orange is really starting to get out and the red is super out and if we want to let that Fun. out sound resolve we would land on a blue so in less in less less in
and really, really not in totally out. That's the color game. And we combine all these. And honestly, this ends up being like 40,000 charts. You just kind of capo it, move it around do the different strings. Um, I'm going to make those charts much less than 40,000. It's going to be a movable, uh, really cool thing. I've got some great devices here. I'll watch for those to be released soon. Share, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let all your friends know. Um, I think this is really valuable. Really valuable. And it's really... Um, helps a lot of people be able to improvise and solo and free their mind a little bit to be able to just jam and enjoy music. Not have to stress so much about all the, the math and the science, which you can do but when you're in the moment of playing. Thinking with the math and the science can be a stumbling block. So we want to kind of eliminate that. The color code is great. There's many, many great masters that have have done similar concepts. But this is the way that I'm Putting it together again. My name is Lance Oscar Carr. I'm from Victoria, BC, Canada, and uh, I've trademarked here Lava Guitar Games. And uh, this is this is my fret is lava. And, uh, one of the early early demonstrations here. All right, have fun.